last night was legendary. I posted some highlights. If you all haven't seen them yet, you know. Let me take a quick sip. And then I'm going to vent for a minute. But before I vent, hit that sub button. You know. We're almost 200. You know, channel's growing pretty good. Lately. But before I smash these Packers fans to the ground, like they always, well, they always need to be smashed to the fucking ground. Gonna be airing out some Packers fans that I probably have said I'll never address again. But this is a time where we look at them and, you know, we beat the shit out of them. See, the problem is with you crapper friends. Shout out to Seal Top Dog for calling out that, for coming up with that nickname. Because here's the thing. Y'all want to get suits and ties and smart ass glasses to think that all because you had two good quarterbacks, Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, that you could just suck off their dicks, that you're better than every quarterback in the league. That is how every single Packers fans feel, that Aaron Rodgers is comparable to fucking Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and fucking Ben Roethlisberger when they have been to multiple Super Bowls. They've been to multiple Super Bowls. Do you want to know what irks me? Eli Manning has been to multiple Super Bowls than Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. And that is a fact because Brett Favre only been to two Super Bowls. Aaron Rodgers has already been to one. So if you take equal amount, Brett Favre is easily better than Aaron Rodgers. But this ain't about crediting Brett Favre or anything. This is about me taking a shit on the Green Bay Packers. And most importantly, their fucking fan base who thinks that all because of one good OTA, one good OTA practice, that Mahomes, that Jordan Love is comparable to Patrick Mahomes so they can forget about Aaron Rodgers. Just like they did the same thing to Brett Favre. See, the thing is with you, Bane, I'm talking to you, Bane. You want it, You want this fair? Nah, I play dirty, man. I, I'm the dirtiest player in the game, man. Your ass got roasted last night by Pest. See, the problem is, I buried you so many times, but... The difference between me, my argument with you and your argument with the guy is that he has 40 years, he is 40 years old and he may not have time left on this planet Earth. You see, I have a couple moments where I embarrass a lot of people. You are one of them, but you were facing somebody who may not have any roasting inside of him anymore. All beef. All talk. All you do. I saw you on Adam's stream because I know he deleted it. Because he's a fucking pussy and a rat and a fucking steak, but I despise him. But you want to know why I don't go and fucking. I didn't go on Adam James's live stream? Because we've already, you know, have. And you could say that, oh, well, you could bring up old shit that, oh, I accused him of having a Browns flag. Actually, one of my fans on Instagram. One of my Bears fans came to me with a fucking screenshot of one of Adam's burner accounts that has a fucking Packers logo on it and a fucking Browns logo. So, let me get this straight. I was wrong about the Clemson flag, but that burner account is still there. It's The guy literally screenshot it to me and sent it to me. See, your boy Adam has tons of burner accounts. He had a burner account of a fucking Jaguars picture. I'm like, what the fuck? This dude has multiple burner. He's the Mexican mom account. I don't know why you think that's a different person. But it's Adam. It's Adam James. And I guarantee you, if we was in the TTC, and that because there's more people in the TTC now, because then in my streams, they all would be laughing at Adam, not me. See, uh, see, the difference between me and Adam is I don't cry about it. I am loud, but I am not upset, Bane. 
The only one that was upset and crying was your boy, Adam. Uh, CG, please, please, Dad, don't invite him to the playground anymore. Please. He hurt my feelings. Please, please, you don't get, please don't invite him to the live stream anymore. He hurt my feelings. See, he, he hurt my feelings. And that's why he deleted all the videos before we squashed the beef. Because I already put him in his fucking box. See, the problem is... he. I have a video of him crying to the YouTuber on camera. You know, we, I screen recorded the whole conversation on CG Bully's live stream. And he said, oh, oh, you guys look like a tough guy. Tough guy. Oh, da, 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 da. Like, he was running out of words and coming up with a bunch of lies. Lies. Trying to get me to turn on him. See, the problem is, you know, Adam's fan base is a bunch of burner accounts and alternate accounts. And most of the fucking burner accounts are probably him. But here's the difference. I have real army. I have real fans. I got real supporters behind me. He has nothing but clones of himself on burner accounts. Do you want to know why I don't block Adam? I don't block Adam from my channel. Because if I do, he's going to hang himself. And don't act like he... He has talked about hanging himself in the past. He wanted to hang himself after the master work exposed was going to expose his family information and some shit. He says that all the fucking time. He even said that to me and I, and I didn't even say shit. See, the problem is with you, Bane. Okay, not you're not the most smartest person in the fucking live stream okay just because you wear goofy glasses just because you have a harper college degree does not mean you're smarter than everybody just because your team has basically have four super bowls and my only has one does not make you smarter than mine bane real versus fake real is that fuck jordan love will be some shit this year Rio is aaron Rodgers will sit out this season not real is him being compared to fucking Patrick Mahomo. Yeah, that's right. Patrick Mahomo. He will never be Patrick Mahomo. Why can't he be Jordan Love? See, that's why I'm tired of these comparisons and some shit. Instead of comparing yourself to this person, try to be yourself for once. I mean, can we all agree on that? If you have something to prove that you want to be the next, actually no, don't prove that you want to be the next GOAT, the next Brady, the next Fizz Vegas, the next Pets. Be the next you. See, you want a copy saying, oh, where's Michael Stark? Where's my, you got that from Mini 14. I guarantee you, if you didn't know who the fuck Mini 14 was, all you'd be doing is calling me either Michael or fucking Butters. That's who you'd be fucking calling me, Bane. See, you cut, did you, are you sure you graduated or did you cheat your way? Because I know a couple people that are like you. Maybe if you come out the closet, Bane, I'll accept you for the scumbag that you fucking are, Bane. And I, and I can accept the fact that Adam's a scumbag too, Bane. See, Bane, the problem is... Twitch, uh, sorry, not Twitch. Streamer doesn't allow me to have more than 10 people on my live stream. But if I had 20, 30, 40, 50, fucking over 9,000 people in my live stream, they would be laughing at you, Bane, not me. They would all be laughing at Adam James's videos he did on me. See, the problem is they have no sympathy if Adam James were to hang himself right now. I have sympathy because I don't block him. Because if I do, it's going to hurt his feelings. You guys want to talk shit about Mini14? Mini14 is a lo local subscriber of mine. He's a local subscriber of mine. 
Adam James is a fanboy. That's why I don't block him, because it's going to hurt his feelings. He's going to wake up one day, if I did block him, he's going to be up one day be like, damn, uh, Michael Butters blocked me. Butters blocked me, man. You know, th th that shit hurt my feelings, man. See, unlike some people, I have sympathy for the guy because I know he has depression and some shit, but I don't mean I have respect for the kid. I hope, I hope he gets, you know, hit by a car or something. Like I said, I lived in Chicago before I moved to Florida. It was probably the best decision of my life. But this is, if this was a gang and we was a part of the gang and Adam constantly goes to the fucking leader and says, Oh, please kick him out of the group. Oh, please get out. Do you want to know what those fucking people do, Bane? Okay, I don't know where you live. I don't know where because I know you say you live in L.A. or you live by the mountain. Either way... Tell this tells me you've never been in the hood because if you cried to the nearest boss, the nearest gang boss, do you want to know what they do to those people that just whine? They get walked into an empty room and they sh clap the shit out of them. You see people get kicked out of gangs. You see people get stabbed in the back. Watch how Adam rolls. Watch how it rolls. Maybe okay. Let me educate you, Bane, since I'm not going to be like Pets and tell you to find the nearest black barber shop and sit there for three hours. I want you to go to the most, one of the most dangerous crime cities, Chicago, New York, California. It don't even matter, Bane. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to go, you're going to go on Google and search up the most dangerous area. Stay there for a week. You could go out if you want. Or if you can't, you, you can't just watch from the sidelines. But just take notes. Watch gangs. Watch gangs go up, rob a store. Watch gangs go up and fucking jump people. Watch them take notes. And then come back from your little vacation after that dangerous place. Tell us what you learned about Bane. Because that's how Adam James rolls. Because shit like that will get you walked into an empty room. And they will fucking kick the shit out of Adam. Whether or not his disabilities or not. Because there's limits to what I can do, Bane. But these people have no fucking limits, Bane. And they have no limits to you also, Bane. Because if that, I swear, if they ever saw you and you act like you're better than everybody. You would be walked into an empty room too, Bane. That's why I said go to the dangerous areas and take notes if you may. You know, I don't really care. But just watch how people roll around there. Because I've been around the gang for 12 years. I've been there for 12 years. I moved to Florida. It was probably the best decision of my life. But I know what it's fucking like. People pit pocket the people on a shit. Yeah, watch. Yeah, have eyes in the back of your head because someone might come behind you and pit pocket you. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what pit pocketing is, Bane? Maybe you'll learn something once you go to that location, that dangerous location. It don't matter what. So whatever your choices is, is is your de decision, Bane. I threw out a challenge to you. Go to one of those dangerous places. Take notes if you must, and watch how gang people roll. That's all I got to say, man. But all these crapper fans, I don't give a shit about dislikes. See, the difference between me wanting, like, I actually encourage the fucking people to dislike my fucking videos. Because the problem is, with people disliking my shit, is they have no mindset they just hit the dislike button. You want to know what it does? It raises the fucking video, Bane. Because they're watching it, Bane. If people didn't give a fuck about my videos, they wouldn't even click on the video to begin with. I. The difference is, Bane, I'm loud, but I'm not upset. The only one that is upset is you and Adam James. I haven't brought Adam James up in months. Now, since he had... Since you got roasted by pests. You literally went on his live stream to talk about it. So, sit in the corner. Take notes if you may. Watch how gang members move. And the same thing goes to Adam as well. Well, I don't know if Adam can survive. Because he'll be walked in a room for a second. For one day at best. He'll, get, he'll last longer in a dangerous area. 
Because they have no sympathy for his disabilities and his depression. But anyway, that's it, that's all. Hit that subscribe button, and as always, bear down.